We're back with Buster and things are going pretty good now. I got Dylan in here and the reason I brought in Dylan to do what I call work the saddle, handle the saddle, further prepare the horse is because he's going to be the one getting on. So I want this horse to what? Get a feel of him, get a feel for him, and vice versa. They're, they're feeling of each other and for each other. See him pick up on that back cinch, kind of bumping those stirrups around, and starting easy. He'll grab that saddle horn, rock that saddle around. See, he pulls on that stirrup because that feels like weight in the saddle. I'd like him to grab that saddle horn, really rock it. Now, I'd like you just stand right there and jump up and down a little bit. And be gentle with this horse now. Don't give him a reason to get scared. And let's see you jump up and down a little bit. Good. Sometimes if you can't jump up and down, I don't feel like they're quite ready. I'm going to get over here out of the blind spot where this horse can see me. Now, again, go to the other side and work him a little bit. Beautiful. All right. Remember, you got to work both sides. Ultra important that you're working both sides. Everything you do on one side, you're doing on another. Okay. All right. Working that horse, come around the bend, beautiful. That's good stuff. Bump that stirrup around, grab that saddle horn. Good. Now, that's pretty good stuff. Now, good, now, whoa. Now, grab, grab, throw that rope on the ground. I really don't like it wrapped around your, your arm. Go on that right side and jump up and down a little bit if you would. Just there. Now, now get on that, in that pocket, beautiful. I jump up and down a little bit. I think that's going to be important on this particular horse. Now come around on this side, Dylan, and what I want him to do is quietly maybe just start putting a little weight in the stirrups. If he feels this horse move off, he needs to maybe step back down. What are we doing? Preparing the horse. Preparing, positioning, physically, mentally, emotionally, getting this horse ready. See again, now right there, uh, I would rock the stirrup and make him square up on the front end. See how he's got one foot forward? Square him up a little bit. That, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Better. Now, because if he's unbalanced and just got most of his weight on one foot, when you put your weight up there, these horses will have to walk to find their balance. So square him up before you get on. That's a good tip to know. And see how he's got... Uh, if just touching him all over. This horse can see him in the right eye, see him in the left eye. He needs to touch him behind the saddle right there, right on his rump, because that's where it's, oh yeah. And then just step back down if you would. Beautiful. Now go the other side. That was pretty good. It's nice to be young, isn't it? <laughs> all right, and Dylan, he does, he does, gets on a lot of calls for me. We got a really good routine, and he's gotten really good at getting them ready. Like at the Expos, I'll come in here and do all the preparation, and then usually I'll get on another horse while he gets on. So occasionally I'm still getting on, and uh, because people will say, Craig, we want to see you get on, but you know, I need to be careful as I'm getting up there in age a little bit, so take care of myself, take care of my horses. All right. That's pretty good stuff. Outstanding. Horse standing pat and looking good right there. All right. I like what's going on. I think we're on our way to a really nice result. And when on the next segment, you better join us now. We're going to ground drive this horse. Then I'm going to work this horse with another horse. And guess what? Then we'll be riding old Buster. <laughs>